have an Amiga CD32 and this is the first time I have actually seen a CD32 in the flesh <laughs> and uh, yes I'm excited I finally got one I've been wanting to get one for a while now uh, and uh, yeah I never had the pleasure of uh, experiencing this back in the day but hey I got the pleasure now now I got this uh, these are becoming really expensive now so I managed to get myself you know a kind of what would class as a bargain these days uh, but uh, of course <laughs> I think last year would just be like a freaking high price so yeah they just Amigas in general are getting you know stupidly expensive blame whatever it is probably most likely the freaking scalpers on eBay <laughs> anyway I got this yet it just came as a console only I have no means to test it so it came as working it was listed as working but yeah I need to test this <laughs> To keep up to date with and to check out more of my videos, and there's definitely more to check out, do consider hitting that subscribe button and not to forget the bell icon in order to be notified of my upcoming videos. Now what I wish to actually do today is test if this thing freaking works, <laughs> because I need to know. Uh, yet I don't have a PSU, however I have uh, the DB9 connector which connects to a PlayStation controller. This is actually used to play Amiga games using a PlayStation controller or even the Amiga CD32 games. And also I have a couple of CD32 discs that I can use to test, uh, which I've had a while ago. I've got Morph, which is actually quite a nice game. I played this back in the day, the disc version. I'm not like the CD32 version yet. And uh, also there's these uh, PD games, which of course I love PD games. <laughs> I think a lot of us do actually. They're actually quite fun. Because I, I remember back in the day having those Assassin's uh, PD discs. You know those, uh, you remember those? And also way back in the day when I first got a CD-ROM for my Amiga 1200, I decided to just get some CD32 titles. Because uh, back then the Easy IDE controller came with a CD32 emulator. So I thought, you know, to get myself Super Frog, I mean it's disc only, but back then I got it for like something silly like $2.99. <laughs> now try and get this, it's like freaking 60 or something like this. <laughs> this is just like a cover disc which I got also. So yeah, I do have a few ways of testing this. Now I do plan on putting together a PSU for this thing and uh, that will be in the, you know, the complete thing will be in the a future video. Today I just want to like put it together really quickly just to kind of like, you know, test this thing. <laughs> it needs to be tested. <laughs> I need to know whether it works. I might as well show you the things that I will be needing for the PSU. <laughs> First of all, three core cable, a project box which will fit a PSU very nicely. And uh, yes, this is the same one which I did for my Amiga, the Amiga 1200, the blue one. And uh, yeah, I decided to get another one. I really like this case actually. And yes, I will be painting this as well. Not, this, not the blue, but uh, something else. And also a mean well power supply, exactly the same one as I used in the Amiga 1200 PSU. I actually ended up getting two of them. And I'm so glad that I did now. <laughs> so as I said, uh, today is just gonna be, you know, quickly, quick and dirty putting this together just to see if it freaking works, this thing. Because <laughs> I'm really nervous about that. I really hope it works. So the ports on the CD32. You have quite a few options for video out actually, which I didn't expect. I didn't know it had an S video out. I always thought that it was just composite and RF or rough. <laughs> But I'm so glad to see that it has an S video. So there's, you know, a chance of, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't be as fussed as um, with the RGB, you know, with this, if this is good enough, I'm happy. Um, and also, you know, it's got the, the separate audio out. And uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, what you call it, the video out. Now you will notice here the power supply input is not the usual squared in Amiga one. And uh, yeah, I did wonder why, but I think the reason why is because um, they decided to use the Commodore 65 power supplies for this. And uh, of course, you know, the Commodore 64, 65 line has the round in, round uh, DIN connections for the power. 
actually, you know something, these are way easier. Four pin din plugs are so easy to kind of get hold of, you know, they're on eBay, so it's way easy sourcing things for a CD32 power supply than it is an Amiga power supply. However, I wish to say a special thank you to Jeffrey T. Bird, now one of my patrons, for this. You know, Jeff has very kindly decided to send me around, yeah, about four squared in plugs for the Amiga, to Amiga computers. Uh, and I really appreciate this. Seriously, these come in so freaking useful. We're always needing them. So really, thank you so much, Jeff, for this. I really appreciate that. Now this is the RT <laughs> 65B. And now this is the one exactly the same one which I used for the Amiga 1200. And these are fantastic. Just ideal, perfect. Because they have the, um, and it's only the 60, 65B, 65 watts B. Uh, and it's the B which has the plus 12 volts, minus 12 volts, and plus 5 volts. Exactly what the Amiga needs. And you can get these from AliExpress you know so it's just plain evil there and sometimes they come in offers as well i plan to get more i'm so glad that i got a second one but i plan to get more because i actually do need uh, i'm gonna replace all my amiga psus with uh, you know these because it's just you know the psu has gone old now so i just thought why not now this is a four pin <laughs> din connector and uh, this i just got from ebay you know 199 for two yes so easily to get hold of <laughs> thankfully so yeah these are uh, these are just fine and also yeah as i said the three core cable so i'm gonna get the pinouts for this and i'm just gonna put this together quickly stay there stay there <laughs> thank you so this here is the diagram and uh, this is the um, plug itself that i've just opened out uh, this side here, the, the back side is the solder side, that's referring to that. That side plugs in to here, which is the, um, you know, the socket on the CD32 it itself. Now, please do, I can <laughs> disclaimer here, do research and check your own pinouts. I don't want to be responsible for, you know, screwing anyone's CD32 up <laughs> because I just don't want to, you know, be responsible for screwing any Amigas up. Uh, out there. So yeah, please do check your uh, CD32s. I mean, please <laughs> do check for pinouts. Actually, there's a, a website which uh, I will link it. It goes through all the P PSU information for... Um, it's actually very good. I always refer to it. It goes through all the pinouts and PSU information for all the Amigas. So I'm here with my stuff ready and my gorgeous new workstation. <laughs> I love that. First things first, flux the uh, this thing, the solar pins, and tin them. Usual protocol. Actually, I didn't need to tin that bottom one, the bottom left one. It doesn't do freaking anything. It doesn't go anywhere. This this doesn't need a minus 12 volts or anything like this. Just unlike the 1200 or the other Amigas. So yeah, well I did it anyway, so never mind. <laughs> so as you can see here, I've prepared the wires. Uh, just like put some heat shrink tubing on each one of them. Made them as short as possible because they need to kind of go inside this plug. So I'm gonna tin these and just, yeah, put them, uh, put them, <laughs> solder them onto this. Okay, managed to freaking force. I'm determined to do this properly. So I managed to force. Ah, it bent the pin. I'm trying to freaking force the heat shrink tubing. It's so much easier doing it with this. So fantastic, that is done. Everything is nice here. And we just need to connect the other side of this to the um, uh, the meanwhile power supply now, which is we're just gonna do roughly now again, just to test. So this yellow one, we don't need, this is actually a four core wire. I recommend three core, 
otherwise it just gets too thick. Now black is obviously ground, I did that. Uh, the grey is 5 volts and the brown is 12 volts. So once you know I've connected them, I'm going to test this on a meter just to double check that I got everything right. That's freaking essential. <laughs> Always double check. Don't want any freaking regrets. Not with retro equipment, especially Amigas. So let's just double check this. Um, 12 volts, which one's plus 12 volts, and my guess is that plus V2. But let's just double check it anyway. Yes, it's V2 plus 12 volts here. So it's like all the information to the side there. Okay, so we have this. Um, all connected now, all wired up, live neutral earth and the pins for this. Now, the wires for this, sorry. Now, let's connect this into the mains and test it. 240 volts, the uh, mains. That's cool. Um, common. That should be plus 12. What? Oh, yeah, the freaking DC. <laughs> Yep, 12, and of course, make sure, freaking make sure, 5, and that's thick. Now we need to make sure these pins are the right ones. So, right now, looking at the plug from this angle, uh, from, you know, from the front, from the plug, of course, everything is going to be um, mirror image, <laughs> you know, because... I just almost give myself a fright confusing myself uh, because I noticed the ground wasn't on this side, it was on this side, but of course if you turn it there it's gonna plug in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's test this. The top one here should be 5 volts. And which it is. And the one here should be 12 volts. And that it is. So everything should be fine with this power supply. Let's plug it in and test if it works. It's <laughs> freaking I hate this part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it switches on. And it's trying to access. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> I'm so happy. So now we're left with the question, <laughs> do we connect my gorgeous, elegant, red PlayStation pad to this? Or do we connect my stunning emerald PlayStation pad to this? I love both of these colors. I'm crazy about colors, especially certain colors. <laughs> I love both of these, but I think I will choose the emerald one. Okay, so we're at the PVM and we have all this connected via S-Video. So let's turn it on. Okay. <gasps> oh my god! This is so cool! <laughs> okay, so let's put a, uh, a disc in. And for all time's sake, let's test it with Super Frog. I'm gonna download uh, these um, backups. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Oh my god, this is so cool! This is so weird playing it on a joypad. I'm so used to joystick. playing this for freaking ages, but like, establish that it all works. I just need to kind of restore this as I, you know, start recapping it and stuff. Oh, man. 
remember playing this. I haven't played this for freaking ages. Oh, duh. Do you know why? Because you need a freaking mouse to play this, don't you? That's why. <laughs> duh, now I freaking know why I can't do it. <laughs> okay, let's put the cover disc in. What is this? Oh, it's this uh, demos. <gasps> Mega Ball AG. I used to play that a lot, but we need a mouse for it. Didn't it say it was like a uh, thingies on here? Symbol dreams. Let's play Insectoid soon. It's just a freaking PD. Ooh, hi! <laughs> We're at the bench screen. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember this. <laughs> and I played with auto fire. <laughs> I got this on one of my. Oh, I need to make uh, videos on my uh, PD discs. My. Game Commission's movie. Remember the sounds from this? Oh my god. No, I like the sound of the spaceship. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Stupid penguins. And that is all for today. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares, do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. And for now, I will say adios. For the generous donations, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons. Ari, Alhand, Albert Hardman, Alex, Andrew, Andy Proctor, Austin Pryor, Axel Dominator, Boris Matishin, Brad Hansen, Carmen Armstrong, Gary S. Turner, Gaston Narvant, Casual Commodore, Ka Chris Kablinski, Calder Fusion, Counting Virtual Sheep, Dan Thru, Dave Rowland, Durguik, Duncan Bullock, Egon Olsen, Electronscape UK, Eric Andre, Espen Galbeck, Fred M, Frederick Rambers, Gav Messingham, Jeff Major, Glenn Burek, Hayes Maker, James Burr, James Hare, Jan Beta, Jan Stoltenberg, Large, Jason Cadaver, Jeffrey T. Bird, Jim Leonard, Just Eri, Yuka Isohatala, Matt Truest, Maria Engström, Marek Felskowski, Mark Morin, Mark McDonald, Matt Shepkar, Matthew Simpson, Matty Immonen, Mickey Home, Milka Delik, Mindfly Retro, Mixtress Ray, Nigel, Abraxas, Patrick Eggman, Paul Delta, Paul Maskelin, Peter Langbeck, Renzi, Ruslas.com, Ruben Barnett, Richard Lancet, Risky Flyer, Robert Minnis, Rob Utley, Ravi Otterstein, Roy Gelati, Rudy Krasch-Tiedel, Skurdur Finson, Sophie Leroy, Steve Jones, Stuart Evans, The Deeply Cynical, Thomas Prisina, Thomas Muller, Dina Stomkaller, and Wayne Marsh. If you wish to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description below, as well as links to my Patreon's websites or YouTube channels.